Hey, free game, we are coming to you live, but not live, from Crete. Sunny, hot, beautiful Crete. We're about 30 minutes outside of Hania, Chania, Chania. Haven't really got the accent or the pronunciation down yet. And we've been having a great time here. We've been doing so much stuff. We've been on hikes, up mountains, we've been doing yoga. Everyone's been sharing their arts. We've had music, we've had such a nice time. But the Wi-Fi here, it hasn't exactly. been too good, it hasn't been too good. Which means we haven't been able to really show you guys much of what we've been doing. But it's not a problem, we've still been enjoying ourselves, haven't we? Yeah, maybe it's a sign that we needed a holiday as well. Yeah, just to have a break and that. So it's been really nice engaging in the things we've been doing and having fun and being present. Even though we haven't been uploading videos that much, we've still been engaging and still been reading all your comments and yeah. answering them where possible and we're still gonna answer some more, aren't we? Yeah, so thanks for always watching us. Yeah, thanks for your amazing comments. But should we get inside now, show them around? Yes. Let's do this. Let's do it. Welcome, Calimera. So this is a very, very big place. We've got lots of room here, lots of different rooms to show you around. But what we're gonna start with is one of two living rooms that we have here. And there's a little boy sitting on the sofa enjoying this space. Oh, what you got there, Jojo? Rice cake. You got a rice cake? Mm. You're reading a book about beaches, gorges in Crete. Oh, yeah. good. So this is a nice spacious area to relax, read some books, or you can actually use this as a bedroom as well as there is a sofa bed over there. You've got a TV here and a PlayStation. Jojo's been enjoying playing Harry Potter Lego games. I've been enjoying it a little bit too, I must admit. You've got these nice big kind of cushions which can mould into seats to sit you there. And for extra privacy, you can close the door. You can close the wall. <laughs> it is a wall to be closed, yeah. Yeah. Well, we like to keep it open because it lets the light around everywhere, lets the breeze go through. Nice, makes it even more open here. What you will notice is a common theme throughout this place is the amazing view that we have here. So we've got the Mediterranean Sea right in our back garden here. Everywhere in the place you can see this sea, it's beautiful to have. We've got a couple of nice sun lounges out here if you want to relax and just have a look out of the sea. But in general, we've got this really nice long balcony that stretches all the way out, out here in front of all of the rooms. So we've got three bedrooms upstairs. So I'm gonna show you the first one, which is where we've been staying. So this is the room that we've been staying in. We've got our lovely double bed. We also have a single bed, which we use for Jojo. And bring Just over. for me. Just for you, that's right. And we put that right next to the bed so you can sleep next to mummy and daddy, don't we? Mm. And the real main feature of this room is the bath. Top. Now, as you may remember from our dream board video, we said about one of the things that we have on there, which we're going to be having soon, this was the very thing that we saw. A bathtub looking out to the ocean, and we've been using this bathtub. In fact, quite a few people have been using this bathtub just to really get that feeling of looking out to the sea while having a bath. We've got two wardrobes here, loads and loads of storage for as much as we could want. But we've also got even more storage in a walk-in wardrobe just here. <laughs> What's happened to the walk-in wardrobe? It's got a um, child stored down the bottom here. Just goes to show how much space there really is in here. You can even get your kids in there. We think this obviously used to be a shower room because most walk-in wardrobes don't have a drain in them. But we really prefer that this is used for uh, clothes storage as you can just get stuff in here so easily and it's easy to access. One shelf that we've been using as well, these are all different gifts that people got for Jojo here. This one, I was gonna say it's a work of art. It literally is a work of art. This is from our very talented friend, Felix. You'll probably see him downstairs. This is the artwork he does. If you haven't seen any of his stuff before, you remember in a previous vlog, we went and visited him for a little bit. You saw some of the arts are there. I'll give links in the description below of the sort of things he does on his uh, social medias and his yoga and his music. He's a, such a talented guy and he can create absolute beauty like this. Out of the balcony, 
Well, hey, oh, there he goes, he's on the bed. That's what beds in rooms are used for, that's right. Out onto this part of the balcony, we've got a nice table and chairs here. We can sit out, have some food. A lot of people have been playing chess here or reading books or doing their work on their laptops. It's been really nice. I was actually working out my laptop here and it's so hot, the laptop got too hot. Now onto the second upstairs bedroom. So this bedroom's got two single beds. It's had our friends Adam, Nathan, Stanley in. You'll meet those guys in a minute as well. And they've got their own ensuite bathroom, shower, toilet. This is a huge shower. I've never seen a shower head this big. This could cover like five people's heads. It would definitely cover his head. <laughs> yeah, every room's got their own washing facility, shower or bath like in our room. So we can do everything they need to privately. We're the only room that hasn't got a toilet. Yes, we don't have a toilet in our room, do we? We have to walk, my goodness. Yeah, again, plenty of storage as well. We have lots of shelving, places to hang clothes. It's good that there's more than enough for every person to stand in each room. And again, you've got this absolutely beautiful view right out in front of you to wake up to every single day. Every room actually does have these shutters to cover down. So you, in case you want to wake up without the sunlight coming in, but not one of us has used them yet. Okay, to show you the last upstairs bedroom, we're actually gonna go around the side of the balcony. Cause out here there's a really nice open space just to sit down, just to chill. People again have been sitting around here eating, just relaxing. And also it's a really good space out here for exercise. We did some yoga out here yesterday, pretty intense. And yeah, it's just nice doing group activities and getting lots of exercise. And of course, a great view again, if you're sat here, how can you not be happy just looking at that again and again and again? So this is the third upstairs bedroom. Again, another beautiful room, lots of space, nice comfy bed, and a real luxury shower as well. You can actually get lost walking around here. This is where our friends Felix and Dee have been staying along with their little and Phoenix. And again, they've got plenty of storage. Although you can't quite fit a kid inside here. I bet you could get in there though, couldn't you? Yeah. And they've got their own toilet as well. So again, every room's got everything it needs. Now, if anyone is using their own private bathroom area, there is an actual communal bathroom to use upstairs. What are you doing in there? <laughs> this does not come with the bathroom. There seems to be one of these in every single room. This is a really lovely bathroom. This is where I've been having my showers most days if I've not been having a bath. Really nice shower here as well. You can take the shower head down. Everything you need, you've got the option for a bath as well. This might, however, be the only room in the house where you can't see the sea. Hmm, unless I go down. Yes, I can see it. So that is everything for upstairs. And so then we're gonna take you downstairs and show you all of the rest of the villa. So this is our beautiful, huge kitchen where we've been spending most of our time. We rearranged things in here a bit just to open up the space for the kids to play around and make it a bit more free for everyone else. They've got this lovely island in the middle here where people can sit up eat their breakfast. We've been having basically like a team of us all around here prepping dinner every single night and beautiful to see them all come together. You've got your hobs as well for cooking, even though we've been eating a lot, a lot of fruits and raw food. You've got your wash up area with plenty of storage. A dishwasher as well. Ten people standing out, that's been extremely handy. Just to say, just to say, this is a dope kitchen. It is a dope kitchen. It might be beyond dope. Super dope. We brought our distiller with us and also our juicer and our vitamix, but they do have a lot of handy things supplied here as well. We've been, you know, we've had a kettle. It's a secret. It's a secret, yeah. We've had a kettle, they've got another juicer of some sorts, uh, another food processor. I don't even know what that is. Coffee machines, microwave, so pretty much everything you can want. All the storage you could possibly want, either side here, fridge freezer there. What's really handy as well, we've got this utility and storage room here as well. It's where I dump things that I don't know who they belong to. Pretty much, yeah. Well, I mean, we've got a 
washing machine needs to help our washing, but we've had suitcases here, they've got Hoover, everything you need to clean up. But they've also got a lot of extra things that they supply, games, sun umbrellas, you know, we've been storing all our fruit in here. At one point, there were just boxes everywhere for the fruit. But yeah, this has been really handy to have it in. So for the rest of the room, Joby I was using the stalls to good effect. We've got this big table here, which has been turned into a temporary tattoo studio. Guys! Guys, can you keep the kickboxing down, please? It's like, man. So yeah, we've been using this area. It obviously is a dining area, but we've been using it as a tattoo studio because the very talented vegan fireman, Nathan, He's also doing tattoos, he's been doing some awesome tattoos. Katie's got one on her back and I'm gonna get one soon as well. It's only been done this morning, so it's slightly still red, but look how beautiful that is. A hen decagon, 11-sided shape. Beautiful, talented man. Also, I got a tattoo. You got a tattoo as well? I liked it myself. Yeah, nice. Link in the description for Vegan Fireman. You can link up with him if you want any tattoos, if you want to know about what he does and what he provides. Top guy. But yeah, otherwise we would be sat around here eating every night. We've mostly sat here every night. We did sit outside as well one night. It was lovely that we can get all 10 of us around the table. So we've got this area here for where we've got the TV. We used to have the sofa out there to watch, but we're not really watching TV. They've got a DVD player. And they've also got something special in this room, which I'm not going to tell you about yet. So stick around to the end because you're not going to want to miss that. So that's it for the downstairs kitchen and living area. We're now going to go into the downstairs bedroom. There is one extra toilet here as well downstairs. Just handy if anyone's coming in from the pool or can't be bothered to go upstairs to their own bathroom. So for the downstairs bedroom, this is where Tim and Ben are staying. Wake up, come on, no time. This isn't a place to sleep. What's up, bro? Freedom family. Hey. Hey. You thought I was working hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, catching flies. It's the ruling grease here, afternoon siesta, so. <laughs> For those of you that don't know these guys, these are the Ethnics family Tim, world parkour champion two years running, UK Ninja Warrior champion. Also, check out Mike for if you want to know exactly how he got to where he is today. Put a link in the description. Of course, we've got our brother Benj, Benj on Earth, check him on Instagram. This guy knows how to bring a pie, knows how to bring the fun, and he knows how to bring some style and make clothes look really, really good. <laughs> so, these guys have got just a nice cosy bed, nice and simple. Maybe Benj actually woke up and forgot where he was and started cuddling up with Tim one morning, which was just sweet. Like he used his girlfriend Absolutely. not being here as an excuse, but I think he just... <laughs> He's expressing himself, he's held me back long enough. It's nice to have the uh, only downstairs room with the pool on tap as well. Yeah, yeah you can just wake up in the morning and just do this. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> so that is one thing that you definitely can't do upstairs. You have the view and everything to wake up to, but these guys can stroll straight out into the pool. They've also got the same amount of storage area, plenty of storage. And yeah, I really like how open their bathroom is. Loads of space. Oh, maybe this is even bigger than the last one. But yeah, a really big shower area. Their own toilet as well, their own privacy. Every room's got it. Everyone's got their own little area in their own room. It's cool. So going outside to our amazing outside area. Look at this! Absolutely beautiful out here. Lovely infinity pool that everyone can get involved. We've been using this space out here for all sorts of things. These guys going out here with the boxing and kickboxing. We've been doing yoga out here, meditation. We've been doing games. Jojo had a whole morning routine for us one morning where we had all sorts and we were running around the whole place. There's a lovely seating area that we can all sit out here, have breakfast or even dinner. We've got this lovely seating area here just for chilling as well. That beautiful guitar you heard in the kitchen, that was our good man Felix. Let's see if I can replicate his skill. No! Speaking of the man Felix himself. Hi guys. You want to know what God looks like in a physical form? I give it to you here. It's right here, it's all around us, everyone. <laughs> it's everyone. Else. Everywhere you look, that's the God in the physical form. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Just everybody, great guys, very uh, honoured and grateful to be here. Check out Urban Avantars on Instagram, Facebook, doing amazing things, these guys. Oh. Big brother here. 
<laughs> These guys, he packs a pack. after us very well. Um, amazing hospitality and just amazing friendship and everything. Thanks, man. So, Thanks. Well done, you guys, for following good people. And the lovely D as well, Felix's wife and their little uh. bee. Phoenix. <laughs> These guys have been a big part of our lives. We only met them a year ago, but already they've made such an impression on us. They bring such good energy, such light, such happiness to us. A look to what they're doing. They're doing great things for their community. Links in the description, check them out. We've also got an outdoor shower here as well, which we've been using as a storage area for all of our inflatables. Because obviously we've got kids, so you've got to keep them safe, you know? These absolute beasts of humans. Nathan, vegan fireman, who I told you about, has got the tattoo table set up. And then we've got Av here, Mind Body Boxing. This guy, one of the top trainers in London. Check him out on Instagram, Mind Body Boxing. He can help you out. He can, he's been giving me some good prep as well. Check these guys out, they're doing amazing stuff. You can learn a lot from them, I have already. Another extra place that's outside is a little path leading down to the sea for a nice little area to sit down and relax. Last area of the outside area is we've got four nice sunbeds here, everyone can chill. Obviously one of the cushions is missing because it's part of the tattoo studio now. But yeah, lots of space out here. You've got the steps that go back up to the outside area, outside the bedrooms. But yeah, we're really, really lucky to have such an amazing place, to have such an amazing view, beautiful weather. We've been really fortunate of all of the things around the area to explore the mountains, to go out, to do yoga, all of the things we've wanted to do in this space around here. It's been a really, really enjoyable time. And we're blessed to have all of our friends with us for what feels like one of the best holidays ever and one of the best places ever. Right free gang, you've been very, very patient waiting for the secret thing I wanted to show you at the end. So we're gonna show you it now, come into the kitchen with me. The great thing about being in this kitchen as well is we have in the ceiling speakers means you can play music whenever you want, just like this. Thanks so much for seeing our tour of our lovely villa and creek, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'd love to hear your comments about what you think. What's your favourite part? Mine's probably, I don't know, what's yours? The bath, it's gotta be the bath, right? The bath, yeah, and the, what, just the view. Yeah, the, the ocean view. is definitely my favourite. Yeah. So I'll leave your comments below on what's your favourite. And if you're new to this channel and you like seeing about our travels and what we get up to following our family vlogs, we'd love it if you subscribe. If you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell so you are kept up to date on when we do upload. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. No. <laughs>